How you guys doing? Welcome back to Tuna Tech, and today we're building a watch. All right, let's pump the brakes. Let me explain a few things. There's a lot of things out there like Makerspace and Arduino and all kinds of stuff where you can make custom things, 3D printers, all that stuff. But today I got something called Watchy. It's an e-paper watch, fully open source and Arduino compatible. And it's from a company, SQFMI. You can look them up. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, this is the Watchy 10. This version is a little different than the first version they had. This version comes with a plastic like, uh, I guess casing for the screen and the internals. But I'm going to attempt to put it together here on the screen. So I kind of already opened to see what it's all about, but on the back here, technical details. You got a three axis accelerometer with gesture detection, real time clock, vibration motor, tactile buttons, 200 by 200 e-ink, e-paper display, a LiPo battery connector, an EP, I don't know, ESP32 Pico D4 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, built-in USB serial adapter and micro USB. So it's not USB type C, but if you go to watchy.sqfmi.com, you can find all kinds of different cases you can 3D print and order. And right now it's kind of sold out in some places, sometimes it's not, but they do have links to places you can buy this. It's like 59 bucks and it's a fun little project. So I'm gonna attempt to put it together with no prior knowledge. It's called Watchy. Um, here it says Watchy is an e-paper watch, open source, e-paper display, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, fully assembled watch, has everything in here, and it's 100% open source. So you, I, I, I don't know if there's an app you can connect to your watch, you know, your phone. I don't, I don't know much about it, but as you can see, there's a little duck that says Woo, and on the bottom it has. Let me kind of try to unfold this up a little bit. It has some real basic instructions on how to do this. But what I'm going to do first is kind of pull everything out carefully. put this off to the side. So, so step one is to, to attach the battery, which it's already done. And then uh, step two is to actually connect the screen. So in order to do that, you've got to actually open the connector here. Okay. Maybe. Okay. And you click it in and then you have your buttons and everything's put together. So about Watchy, you got a vibe. Oh, sorry about that. And you can kind of, I'm not, yeah, you can scroll through, show accelerometer, set time, set Wi-Fi, update firmware. So you might be able to do this all through Wi-Fi, um, but I'm going to put the uh, quick release uh, bands on, stick it on my arm, just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like on the arm. All right, guys, so there it is. Right now it's in 24 hour mode time, but I got the date set and it says 25 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't think that's correct. It's actually not correct, but um, you have to go through to set up Wi Fi and there's a process by which you have to do that. It's not as simple as opening an app, um, but either way, it's got four buttons. You got up and down, up and down right here when you're going through your menus. This takes you to the menu. So you see the menu here we talked about before, you got set time, set Wi-Fi, update firmware, sync NTP, about watchy, and your vibrant motor, which just kind of vibrates it and it shows your accelerometer. Um, clicking this again right here will put you into that menu. So up and down, you can see it goes up and down. This button over here will actually put you into that menu and then this takes you back home, which kind of flashes around. And that's how it is. So you can see in here, you got the time, the date, your steps, your weather, and then battery life, and if Wi-Fi is connected. So this has been a quick build of Watchy. Uh, you know, I'll leave a link, but it's sqfmi, watchy.sqfmi.com. Check them out, $59.99. It's a little nice little 
quick uh, thing you can do with it. And if you like to tinker with things like I do, you can get back in the website, download other um, software, faces, uh, watch faces, uh, firmware updates, figure out all that stuff, and even some DIY 3D printed cases. You can kind of customize it. And again, thanks for watching. <laughs>